Let me know if this is too quiet or too loud, please. Oh shit. <laughs> what? This is Ultra Kill. It is a game. You can play it. I hope you are not startled by the screaming. Set in the distant future of 2019, we play as the world's first vampiric Nikon, programmed with one singular goal. Kill Margaret Thatcher. Thus huh? we walk on our journey into the deepest, darkest pits of hell where we can find <laughs> I know about the Crash Bandicoot thing. This game is loosely based on a 14th century fan fiction about God. Therefore, what you are about to see is canon to the Christverse. I will not be accused of Quiet? Okay, let me fix that. Oh, see, yeah, I figured, yeah, yeah, I know those uh, Gables voice actor. Blasphemy again. With How's the sound said, now? The game goes harder than diamonds, and after this video, I hope you will see why. You know, if you can see it all. Yo, this is a. Can't really hear it. Okay. Oh, that that's better. All right, dope, dope. Yo, this intro goes crazy. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Uh, hey guys, it's me, Maxor. Welcome back to, uh, fucking Undertale. So the game begins in a hallway, and I do not have permission to use the restroom. When I am lost, I always... I do not have permission to use the restroom. Smith and Wesson. Smith and Wesson! I have interrupted elevator music time. This level begins as a tutorial, primarily focused on executing basic mechanics as well as be disabled, preferably from a high drop. In this game, explosions and gore are plentiful, but as per my design as a sentient fucking GoPro, my gears must be with the blood of the innocent. My power source is Vampire Piston, which means the more blood, the better. It is the only thing I know for heal. There will be blood shed, and as far as healing systems go, this is the best one because it forces the player to actually play the game to restore their health. But right. that's enough about mechanics because it's time to fight the uh oh no. Oh god, it's the funny rock. Post it's the funny rock. rock. We become funny. I think my copy of Elden Ring is broken. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, my fellow girls. Welcome to level two. We have Amazon. Here you'll buy the most important item in the entire game. That's right, the power to throw coins. Because the power to throw game, coins. The size of a fucking coin. This shit is amazing. The hit is guaranteed, regardless of the coin's location. Even if that coin's location is space or just the inside of an enemy, a few times. But besides that, damn. The the mission is pretty normal. In fact, it's a little too normal. One could call it suspicious. Have you heard of the hit game Among Us? We have to this <laughs> imposter. It's the only way to get the lean skull, which I assure you is required to access the secret door, which apparently just ends the level. Now, as I will soon learn, <laughs> okay. there's a reason this is a secret mission, because now it is able to escape. Oh, it's my YouTube career. I am in great danger. Do not Google danger. I am in great danger. <laughs> in this level, we need to find our way through the back rooms without making too much noise. Because huh? if you can hear it, then it has definitely heard you. My favorite Whoa. part is the persistent darkness and a horrifying droning noise as it creeps ever closer. Really ups the entertainment factor. Now, of course, you can shoot it, but that will only set it back. It is inevitable. Do you have any? It is inevitable. Here? Let's just uh get the fuck out of here. I no longer wish to play in the multiplayer maze. Shinji, crank that soldier boy. Okay, level three. <laughs> Let's just uh, take a look at the catalog. <laughs> Never mind. So to me. <laughs> Make 
through this mission, we have to use our Yo. a lot of nuance and a subtlety, just like Ted Kaczynski, ascending up what the, the normal staircase very competently. We meet the only problem that money cannot solve. That's right, road construction. <laughs> road construction? <laughs> Normally, that's unavailable unless you try hard enough. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's the feds. They're here to shoot my dog. Yo, the this Tekken 7 music? For his geometric style headgear and a free shotgun. His AI is a <laughs> free shotgun. Organism. I want you to fucking guess how I fought him. Following this fight, we acquire our next weapon, the Remington Grenade Launcher. <laughs> the which Remington Grenade Launcher? <laughs> progress, but that isn't what's important about the shotgun. What is important is that I can, uh, punch the bullets. Yo, bro, that was editing. Dude. That was editing genius right there. Oh my, yo, 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 yo. I'm about to start taking notes, bro. I need to start editing like this, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> that was legendary. <laughs> I gotta see that one more time. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Boy, Run that back. Eight obstacles to progress, but that isn't what's important about the shotgun. What is important is that I can uh, punch the bullets. You see, Ultra Kill is a game that lets Ooh. you parry all kinds of attacks, and shotgun shells just so happen to count as a projectile, so uh, guess what that means? I'm going to mail these pipe bombs with same day shipping. It makes the bullets go faster. I really hope you don't mind, but uh, I'm going to use this for the rest of the game. And if that hurts your eyes a little bit too much, don't worry, it can get worse. Upon diligently can get worse. researching the uh, larger calibers, we make the discovery that I can load my shotgun a bit more than necessary. That's right, we've made a suicide vest. I'm going to join my latest <laughs> uncle in Valhalla. I find this mode very useful for uh launching myself into the minus dimension the uh the <laughs> minus dimension does anyone need some tech tips uh is he okay oh my god he's hitting the gritty oh I he's see. hitting this the gritty those platforming levels my favorite platform is youtube abandon hope all ye who enter here that's a weird way to spell twitter that's a weird way to <laughs> say no i don't it comes through your xbox i don't have uno you have fucking uno <laughs> Bruh, it's a new pit bull to euthanize. I know he has a basketball. But <laughs> new pit bull to euthanize. That is actually balling. He caught me wearing them fake jays. Now, this may not be a long fight, but what is there teaches a valuable lesson to the player. The lesson is up. Uh, use crack. You know, like me. Whenever I use the computer, do not under any circumstances touch the ground. So, after dodging his many dribbles and dunks, we eventually reach halftime, causing SpongeBob and the crew to enter the arena and sing a song. Oh my god, it's my two favorite basketball players, Ornstein and Smo. I didn't even know you were Uno 2v1. So you do have fucking Oh no, I've put him in his red state he has absorbed the power of ornstein looks like i'm gonna have to use my secret weapon money money <laughs> never fails shinji i really like how they filled this room with uh more statues It is finally time to enter the elevator, also known as California. The elevator. Hell has got to be a good time. After all, it's where my subscribers live. Oh man, I bet it's got lakes of blood and shit. Oh. Oh. Welcome to hell. We have a uh, realistic bird noises and also the uh, machine. Machine. A selfie with the funny rock. All right, never mind. <laughs> this level is pretty chill. I spent most of it delivering human skulls, but you know what I find really relaxing? Construction equipment. After all, the nail gun is great for putting people to sleep. Honestly, I wish I had more of an explanation, but it just kind of liberates their insides. This rifle is uh, not chambered for nuance. Hey, <laughs> not chambered for nuance. Weapons, and today we're going to be killing a man. Just uh, don't give the statue anything. Wait, I can that do that? Worked. I really hope this isn't what I think it is. Oh no, it's worse. Oh, I gotta go back and do that. Puzzles. Oh, Max, you should play Ultra Kill. I'm sure you'll love all 26 of the puzzles. Here's a puzzle for the game developers. How long until I reach your house? And here I thought until I reach your house. Relaxing, but it's just so. Oh, they're not even cooked right. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Oh! Who do I have <laughs> fucking head? Oh god, never mind. That shit is harder than Ganyu's hips. So, uh, welcome <laughs> to the fire enemy. It has this unique ability called the fucking jump scare. And no, I cannot turn off the screaming. They were designed without self-preservation. You know what? Designed without self-preservation. I think I belong in the, uh, secret cartel tunnels underneath El Paso. How's about we just let ourselves in? Oh, cool. It's huh? An abandoned asylum. Can't wait to see what lives here. What? It's a regular. You said what at the same time? <laughs> Yo.
yo! <laughs> oh, this video is amazing. <laughs> He's celebrating yet another birthday bash. Sir, sit and stop resisting. Damn. It had to be done. Let us never speak of this again. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking huh? myself. Welcome to the real boss fight in the game. You actually have to play it. Chuck E. Cheese is no longer fucking asking. How about we just, uh, vibrate it until it's Vibrate it? <laughs> okay. I'm going to forget this is here. Moving on from Man, the business this is awesome. Challenge that offers us a choice: blue team or red team. Comment your team below, and if you do both, you get to fight whatever this shit is. What? I, I could have done that. Really sorry if you thought this video was going to have a bit rate. Oh Anyways, God! To this level, I chose to take the harder route because, as a gamer, it really hits my erect penile pecker. Oh hey, look, it's a skull. Oh God, go go get it. <laughs> my favorite detail is that if you do the hard route, the game just drops you inside the easy route, so you're forced to do both of them. Nothing a little beat hopping can't fix Man, oh wow a nice looking rock hey guys. oh what is going on and oh no it's fucking handicapped it's fucking handicapped he says Welcome everyone to the Hideos Mass Fight, also known as Hideos Nordic. Mass Adam. Fight. Now I could spend time explaining this boss, but that requires that I understand it. This shit is goddamn incomprehensible. I want to congratulate the devs on the first non-Euclidean enemy. Of course, that is implying that you can see him, because the grapple attack makes that a little difficult. Just yeah, like it does. Literally anything else. So if you do get grappled, get ready to convert, because God can't help anymore. And because this boss has armor, the only way to damage him is to hit him in his bell icon, preferably before he <laughs> slams that subscribe and smashes that like button. That's very good. That's a very good way of saying to do that. I finally understand. Your fucking death. YouTubers, we have to tap into their only weakness. Children. I'm sorry, but it's the only way. Go go gadget allegations. Go go gadget allegations. That's crazy. Hello there. I didn't see you walk in. I was busy watching random unprotected security cameras. Welcome to what? Claire de Lune. Such a calm level. Very peaceful. Do not knock on the doors. I really appreciate <laughs> Do not the knock on the door. The ambience. For you see, the church demands that, a sacrifice. That and the only way V2 sliding through the floor like that, like, <laughs> legitimately jump scared me because I was not... Expecting to see that to appease it is to provide to me these bodies three to do this we <laughs> These to bodies three meticulously break into your house and after gathering all three of the balls We finally unlock the power to jump through the window good to see that I'm using my time wisely oh, fuck, here I, come. I could have jumped through the window What the fuck? <laughs> I thought it would be obvious brother after all I am you but stronger Yo Oh my god, this editing is amazing! Welcome everybody to the race war. It's a little bit <laughs> the race war. Kind of quick. I mean, look at this shit. The fight is so fast, it's editing itself. What side are you on? Bloods or Crips? I'm really enjoying the, <laughs> the, drugs. the gimmick for V2 is that he is completely wacko. He moves like you, shoots like you, and everything that you can do, he can do better. He can do everything better than you, except dodge. Because that would be weird. Needless Except to say, Dodge. This fight is very difficult, mainly because V2 is so fast he's goddamn omnipresent. Good luck trying to fucking heal because hitting him up close is a Parkinson's simulation. I just yeah, I found that out the hard shoot. way. Human brains are not fucking built for this. We're supposed to be threshing wheat and dying of smallpox. Looks like you've gone a little rusty, brother. <laughs> I think that something is wrong with my copy of DMC. There's this annoying <laughs> inside of it. You think you can best me? After all, shut up. Overall, shut up. Though, the beauty of this fight is that it is simple but complicated. Is simple in that he has your move set, but complicated in that he has Yo, the Jacko pose. Worry, though, you'll get a lot of practice with him over and over and over again. The beatings will continue until morale improves. <laughs> Just a fucking okay, I get it, but honestly, that's what makes this fight fun. We choose to kill V2, not because it is easy, but because he won't stop talking. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a GoPro to throw into the fucking sun. Go, go, gadget car bomb. Go, go, gadget car bomb. <laughs> Gadget car bomb, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna call that one a draw. Team Rocket is pissing off again. <laughs> uh, it looks like he forgot his arm. I don't know if this is legal in California. Oh. 
So the new Damn. Bit funky, a bit monkey. It comes with many utilities that you don't want, but what it is good for is reducing the enemy into their base particles. You better not catch <laughs> these hands because now they're chambered for 12 gauge. The only thing <laughs> is that uh, you can't hit your bullets anymore. So honestly, it's fucking dog shit, and I'm going to kill my infant son. Welcome. Damn. What did the infant I son do? <laughs> It's this game about chips and you can marry children. So after many fists, hey yo, stores, we make it to the bounce pad and enter a cyberpunk. That's right, we're in Night City now. Wake the dog up, Samurai. Here we got <laughs> all the amenities of a dystopia. Street <laughs> Walk to Chicago. Video, Nightmare Obelisk, the corpse of King Minos, and of course, Death Trampoline. <laughs> I, <laughs> um, having fun there, guys? Because I'm having a blast. V, I've got a job <laughs> for you. Your Windows machine has virus. So far, every level has introduced to us a new word. You know, like Dora. Words like anger or fear come to mind. Well, this level's word is verticality, which is a very welcome addition. You know, what the hell? The enemies work. I have discovered their only weakness. Slight altitude difference. This Slight altitude difference. The MC Escher Tower, contemplating the sweet embrace of death, and eventually descending <laughs> down the uh, shaft of lust. You have no idea how much self-control it takes to not reference Genshin Impact. The theme of verticality continues again. As really? We make our way through an actual nice neighborhood. They uh, gentrified the zombies. So to be Damn. Example, we have to throw balls of copper into the power lines. It also has my new favorite enemy, Pepsi Man. But the most <laughs> Pepsi Man is the real gun. Oh my god, the railgun. This is the best thing <laughs> in the entire game, as you can see. And it comes in three unique flavors. Piercing Gatorade, Baja Blast. Piercing Gatorade, Baja Blast, and the drill. <laughs> That is just the beginning because this shit has tech. You can bounce it off coins, bounce it into the stratosphere, bounce it off Damn. coins to nuke the planet. Damn! But most importantly, instant kill everything in the game by bouncing your shot three times. I would explain this mechanic to you, but we would have to consult the diagrams. If you would like to the know diagrams. what you have to do is watch an 18 minute YouTube video. Okay, seriously, guys, where's the uh, where's the exit? I want to get off Mr. Minos's wild run. Hello, everyone. Tom Scott <laughs> here, and today I am trapped at the south side of Chicago. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to a uh, sheer heart attack. It has no weaknesses. This level is a lot like the others in that you cannot escape his gaze. It has the Damn. verticality where you're locked in a corn maze. You see, the layer is a metaphor for my sanity. Always dropping. Man, what a nice looking city. It has so much texture. I can't believe my can <laughs> Texture. Use mode. Fucking doors stuck. D -d door stuck. Here we meet our newest enemy. Oh god, what is that? Its main abilities are teleportation, as well as making me feel a certain way. If only yeah. it wasn't annoying as yeah. well. And once dispatched, she will, um... She will explode. You know what? All this violence is making me crave some secrets. But don't worry, this won't be anything like the last two. Those were not painful enough. All we have to do is track down the United States power grid. That's Damn! Skip the level again. This shit always ends well. No way. No. No, you, you can't it, do this. It, it doesn't actually own. use the Doki Doki music. I, There's no way it does. Here. I think now's a good time to mention that you can buy body pillows from the Ultra Kill store. Yo! A, A, yo! <laughs> what? I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> And uh, the human mind is an evolutionary maladaptation. We what? Destroy the left wing using facts and logic. Uh, hello, everyone. Dennis Prager here. God has <laughs> Dennis Prager here. Too high. So after debating <laughs> liberal snowflakes on the internet, we finally decide to fix the aspect ratio. At least one of us has purpose in life. By the way, I'm playing an action game. So uh, welcome back to. <laughs> By the way, I'm playing an action game. This level takes place in the wonderful New York Metro system. We're here to investigate reports of the Rat Men. Also, uh, the train is fully compatible with my auto clicker. They just forgot to set a. Cool down. Don't I forgot to set a cool down. Really faster to be hop instead. Gotta work on my trainless percent speed run. I don't like the implications of this. Welcome to the uh, boss fight. King Minos needs help putting his fist in a narrow cavity. It's a <laughs> fight, mostly just dodging his DK bongos. There really isn't much room to dodge here, and Minos can juju on that beat. But ultimately, every attack is fair and telegraphed, which is more than I can say for some games. All we have to do <laughs> is help him find his car keys. Go go gadget revolver. Go go gadget revolver. <laughs> Don't worry, Fingernails no trimmed. In the subway. All we have to do now is um, offer a whole pizza to the rat god. I'm sure he'll be cheesed to meet me. Excuse me, sir. You're just in time for the event. What event? Wiener Compression Day. <laughs> Wiener Compression Day? Wiener Compression Day. 
What is up, everyone? It's your boy Bugs Life, and today Bugs we're going to be the 510 experience. King Minos 510 <laughs> experience. <laughs> This battle is deceptively simple since his main attack is literally just punching you. These hands have been graduated from hitbox to hit tesseract, but that isn't all. Call right now and I will find you. <laughs> Turns out, Minos can summon the power of the void, which upon contact reduces your HP to one. Y yo, hold up. Did my man just give me AIDS? The longer the icon of sin is on earth, the stronger he will become. Of course, this is all before the parasites begin shooting at you, because there are just too few things in this fight, and not enough of them give me nightmares. I think your cells are a bit too far apart, but I fixed that for you. This is the kind of game where, at every possible time, I've said to myself, wouldn't it be cool if? And the answer is always yes. So when I tell you that, um, you can parry this man, it's basically the- Yeah, I figured that out by accident. This is the coolest thing you can do in a video game. It makes me feel like an anime protagonist. A game devs take this. <laughs> this is how you send the fun ceiling into the fucking stratosphere. And also, um, myself you know it's a good boss when it has a space program in summary you have to try to make this fight boring and even then you might not succeed now if you'll excuse me i have a dead horse to beat and his name is minos damn damn imagine if that killed oh, you no. <laughs> i don't think i like where this is going Hey guys, welcome back to the protagonist shaped bulge in Minos' stomach. We've got smelly <laughs> enemies. We've got belly enemies. We've got to get out of the small intestine. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> accurate. Man's got eyes on the inside. This level is an absolute gauntlet, specifically made to test your anatomical knowledge. You really have to understand the game inside and out. Ah yes, my favorite part of the body. Winchester Mystery House. This <laughs> Winchester. <laughs> mystery house. Osmosis Jones. <laughs> this is definitely me when I fill the double gold cup with the Slurpee. I appear to be trapped inside of my mind prison. This is just mind like prison. Life. Now I know that Minos's polygonal stomach may seem like a weird idea for a level, but at this point I'm used to it. I can never take <laughs> back the things I've seen. It is a perfect way to visualize our descent into irreality. And honestly, I can't think of a more perfect metaphor for this video. Why? Yes, I do edit my videos to kill small animals. Why do you ask? <laughs> hey the there, fucking ultraistic noise. Welcome back. To the uh, the cool game where things are normal. The she what? Turn back now. I think I'm getting a Zoom call from God. <laughs> Do you trample upon this palace machine? I mean, why do you? To question God is heresy, machine. But for your information, I am driving the corpse of King Minos like a fucking Mazda. Okay. My God, <laughs> Mazda. <laughs> As the righteous hand of the father, I will beat you back into silicon. I think someone huh? has daddy issues. I do not have daddy issues. I am a special fucking boy. Damn. Yo, this is a welcome everyone. This is a really good video. Learning about Stone Age. The important Damn. lesson when fighting Gabriel is that you can't fight on his terms. In fact, don't fight him at all. Uninstall the game. Huh? The Wait, chill. Than you. <laughs> it's harder than you. Teleports behind you and is overall a massive sweat machine. I wonder if it hurt when he fell from heaven. Yes, yes, fucking <laughs> understand that Gabriel isn't an ultra good boss. He's Senator Armstrong. Pure aggression. He's Senator Armstrong. Time, we need to use patience and also open heart surgery. This means that learning his attack patterns is key, and so is abusing iframes like a drunk stepdad. This copy of Elden Ring is fucking weird. You may notice <laughs> it's difficult to keep my camera on him. That is because this fight is psychotic. Every combo can be dodged if you are good at the game. But as for me, Gabriel beat my ass so hard that I saw Jesus, and he was Damn. the cleanest gritty I'd ever seen. Damn. Excuse me? And if that was <laughs> Gabriel has an entire second phase where he delivers God's judgment through the barrel of a gun. If you thought this fight was fast, then you haven't seen shit. I want to introduce my new OC, Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> what are you fucking saying? Over what are you fucking fight, saying? Like fighting an angel, because this shit is an act of God. But personally, I think it's better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. Plus, I already have a God, and his name is Money. <laughs> his name is Money. How can this be? Bested by this, this Cobra. I'm actually Cobra. Cobra. <laughs> insignificant fuck. This is not. May your L's be many and <laughs> your bitches few. <laughs> 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 
Stand accused of losing to a fucking camera. But cancel my devotion is absolute. Uh huh. The was Enough. You have 24 hours before the father's light leaves your body, and then you will die a husk, a thing. I Damn. suggest that you prove your faith. Do you understand? Yes, cancel. Good. Yes. Whoa, man, dude, that that was such a well put together video, bro. And it was, fu man. I hope my editing gets to be this quality uh, in the near future, cause oh my god, that 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 made me want to practice editing. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, I'm already supposed to be working on a YouTube video, like, well, no, I'm already supposed to be working on one, but, like, damn, damn, that was some, that was some S-tier fucking editing, bro, and the pacing and the comedy, man, good lord, that was a good fucking video, I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad I finally watched that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord shit that was that was so good that was that was beyond good dude Ooh wee the game has an official butt plug mod <laughs> I'm not surprised there are some uh, detrimentally horny people out there in the world. Okay, let's see. Put that away. On the line, four and a half hours. I think. I think it's a good place to stop here for now. Finished all of Act One. Had a real good time with that. Uh. I will be streaming this again.